All right, for on this one, what we want to do is we want to solve the system of equations. I'm just recording it. So, so we want to solve the system of equ equations. So what I'm going to do, since y has already been solved, I'm just going to do it by substitution or substitution. So what that means is I'm going to take what y equals out of that equation and put it in for y in that equation. So now when I do that, I end up with 3x plus 2y, which is 3x minus 7, equals 31. So the good thing about this is now I have one equation, and I only have one variable, the x's. So that's nice. I can solve that. There's no way I can solve two equations and, or two variables at the same time and get an answer. So I need one equation with one variable, and that's what we accomplished right here. So now what I'm going to do is distribute the 2. So I'm going to get 3x plus 2 times 3x, 6x, 3 times negative 7, negative 14, equals 31. So now I'm going to combine like terms. So since they're on the same side, I just add them together, so that would be 9x minus 14 equals 31. So now I'm trying to get x by itself, so I need to get rid of this negative 14. So I'd get rid of it by adding 14 to both sides. And so now that would give me 9x equals 45. Divide both sides by 9, trying to get x by itself. So x would equal 5. So now that I know what x equals, I come back up here to this equation, plug in x, and find out what y equals. So y is going to equal 3 times 5 minus 7. So 15 minus 7 would be 8. So y equals 8. Now to check it, I'm going to go back to this other equation and plug in both numbers. So 3 times x, which is 5, plus 2 times y, which is 8, better be 31. So 3 times 5, 15. 2 times 8, 16. And 15 plus 16 is 31. So I know, therefore, that I did it right. So I'm going to write my answer now as an ordered pair, x first, and then y. And that is my final answer.